So in the last video I did, it's about uh, comparing the SD1 Super Overdrive with the TS9. A few people asked me if the DS1 and the SD1 were exactly the same. So I want to show you that they're not the same at all, even though they have three knobs and, you know, somewhat similar amount of parts whenever you open them up. They're not anything alike at all, uh, and they definitely don't sound alike. So uh, let's take a look at the schematic real quick and... Uh, Go through it, shall we? Let's do it. All right, so what you see on the screen right there, or actually right there, is uh, the DS1 schematic and the SD1 schematic. The DS1, I don't have one near me. The DS1 being the orange distortion that uh, you're probably familiar with, or you should be. SD1 being the Super Overdrive that uh, I did a video on just a few days ago. So, uh, let's look at the SD1 again real quick. Okay, we'll compare the two. So, as you can see, we go through, the, so this is the input, this is the signal that goes through here into, this buff, into that buffer, and then it exits the buffer, goes into the op amp, you have clipping diodes within the op amp, so it's soft clipping, okay? Um, your gain control's like there, right there, which is normal. Uh, low pass filter after that, because the sound exits that, goes into the next op amp stage, which is then um, your tone control. So your tone control, as I said last week, as you turn it down, it's gonna filter more lows. As you turn it up, it's gonna boost some highs. And then it exits the op amp and uh, goes to capacitor resistor, of course, into this little thing here, which is the volume pot. The or you know their knob is attached to the pot. So your sound exits out of the volume pot. Um, if the pedal's on. That's like a switch, so the signal just passes through it, and then goes into the next buffer, which then goes through some parts and goes out. The DS1, okay, again, we're going to go through a buffer like basically every boss pedal does. Uh, get past the switching, because again, this little JFET here is just a switch. Whenever the pedal is off, then um, it basically routes the sound to the other buffer. Um, whenever the pedal's on, then it uh, basically, the clean, what would be the clean signal controlled by this, uh, that acts like a switch and doesn't let the sound pass through that, forcing the sound to go into the first stage of the DS1 after the buffer, which is, uh, it's a transistor boost stage, really. It's, you see this like on the Big Muff, for example. It's just a simple transistor stage, transistor booster stage. So it's going to amplify some sound. So anyways, we're going to go through this transistor stage. It's going to boost the sound all together. Boost all the sound, all of it, every bit of it. Pretty much for the most, not all the sound because there's a lot of frequencies, a big part, a big portion of the, of the guitar sound. Then it's going to go into the op amp, which is uh, controlled by the distortion knob right there. There is no diodes connected to the pins of the op amp like there is on the SD1. Instead, the sound exits out and goes right past these diodes here. These diodes uh, clip the signal in a hard clipping sort of fashion basically making it a distortion. You see a capacitor here, combined with that resistor, forms a low pass filter, which takes off some highs, gets rid of some of that fuzziness. Then we go into this tone control here, which is like all these resistors and capacitors and the tone control. It's basically the same type of tone control as what you'd find on a Big Muff. When you turn it all the way down, it's going to boost some lows and decrease some highs. When you turn it all the way up, it's going to decrease the lows and boost the highs. So we go out of that tone control into the level control, or the volume pot, as it's commonly called. We exit the volume pot, go through that switch, assuming that the pedal's on, and go out a buffer to the output. So, radically different. Well, not radically. I mean, like, this isn't made out of tubes or anything. It's not made out of, uh, you know, space shuttle stuff. That's basically the whole thing. The DS1 sounds different, the parts are different. Could you modify it to be the exact same? I mean, you could, if you wanted to. I mean, you're basically gonna pull almost everything out and kind of 
hand wire parts into holes and it's not optimal at all. So I, I guess you could, but I probably wouldn't do it that way. It's probably just a lot easier to buy an SD1 or if you're the building type, just build your own. But there you go. There's your answer. A couple couple people had asked whether the SD1 and the DS1 were the same or whether uh, you know you can modify one to be the other. So that's your answer. Hope that helps. Last week I said I was going to be doing some more videos. My goal is to get up to three a week, maybe four. If I can swing that, I would like to because I like doing them and I enjoy it. I like talking to you guys and interacting with you in the comments. But anyways, um, I'm going to be doing some more videos, so you're going to notice some different stuff. Some videos you may love, some videos you may not love that much. You know, hopefully you like some of the stuff. Some of the stuff's going to be a little more tailored towards like electronics explanations. In fact, if you look at our web page, you'll see the uh, web page. If you look at our YouTube page, you'll see that I've created all new playlists and categories. So there's like electronics explanations, there's gear demos, there's Wampler product demos. Uh, there's even like a vlog informational stuff. I know we've I've threatened to do vlogs in the past and I kind of kind of do somewhat of a vloggy thing But not like a David Dobrik type of vlog or a Casey Neistat like I don't know maybe in the future if I get a good idea for one But what I'm trying to say is there's gonna be some different stuff on the channel. I hope you like it I really look forward to hearing some of your comments, you know on the videos uh, tell me if you do like it, if you don't like it, what you do want to see, what you don't want to see. And uh, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. My nose itches right there. I don't know what the deal is. It just itches like a monk. Ugh. Okay. Uh, subscribe to the channel. You guys, you see a little bell right there. You know, ding, ding. Just click on that little bell. And that tell that will actually tell Google and YouTube that you want to see the videos. So that's kind of helpful if you like the videos. So make sure you click on that bell. And uh, we'll talk to you guys in a couple days. See you later.